guys, I've got a makeup collection for you today and this is just my updated makeup collection. Believe it or not, I have downsized my collection and if you've watched my previous ones, you'll probably realise that I've done that and that's because one person just can't wear that much makeup and I like to share mine out with my friends and family and stuff and kind of treat them to things. So anything that I don't wear, I pop in a big bag and I take it whenever I see my friends and family and I'm like, do you want any of this? <laughs> so my personal collection has downsized, which I'm completely fine with. I use basically everything now, which is amazing. So if you'd like to see what I've got, carry on watching. The unit that I use to pop my makeup in is this apothecary looking one and this is from a place called Vincent and Barn. I'll leave the link to it below if you're interested. It's an amazing way to store makeup because you can just have a drawer for like each specific thing. Anyways, let's jump into my collection. So in the first drawer I just like to keep foundations, I've got a whole bunch of foundations in here. This is MAC Face and Body, it's one of my favourites ever, I love it so much. This is another one of my favourites, it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, it's just really nice and not too dewy but it makes you look really healthy and glowy. I also love the YSL Touche Clat, it's one of my all time favourites too and mine's in the shade B30. That's for when I'm super tanned. As you can see, they all range like from different tan levels. <laughs> I really don't like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundations. If we're talking about drugstore foundations, I love the Max Factor Face Finity. That's one of my favorites. And also with the Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation is really good. Mine's in the shade Bora Bora. So that is the foundation drawer. Woo! On to the next drawer. This has just got setting sprays in. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I I love this one so much, it keeps my makeup on all night. In this little section down here I keep some concealers and in this bit I've just got another smaller size of the all nighter. I keep a bunch of primers. I really like this Makeup Forever one. It's the hydrating primer. If you've got dry skin, this one's super good. I also keep a couple of powders. So I've got Max Light Scapade, which they say is a highlighter, but I don't think it really is. I would say it's more like the Hourglass powders in the fact that it makes you look quite dewy, but it's not really highlightery, if that makes sense. Speaking of the Hourglass powders, I've also got this set of them, which I never use. I need to start using this. That's about it for that drawer. It's just powders, primers, concealers and setting sprays. Moving on to the blusher drawer. I've actually got rid of quite a lot of blushes and given them to friends and family but this is what I'm left with. I've got this really pretty one from Superdrug. It's just got three different shades of blush. It's super pretty. One of my favourites is Benefits Rocketeur. It's a really dusky pink shade. It's honestly gorgeous. It would work on every skin colour too. I've recently got this Rosie Huntington Whiteley blusher from M&S and it's a cream one and I can't wait to use this in summer. It's got gorgeous packaging. But that's basically it for my blusher drawer. I've got quite a few but not too many. All of them definitely get used. There's a bunch of MAC ones down here too. This is my highlighter drawer and my bronzer drawer. I just keep bronzers at this end and highlighters at the top. If you watch my videos, you'll know that this is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. It's Nars Copacabana, it's amazing. I also love this Physicians Formula One. I've got my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel down here, which is incredible. MAC Soft and Gentle will always be one of my favorite highlighters. It's gorgeous. I love Soap and Glory's Solar Powder Bronzer. It's got two different shades in and it's really good if you've got pale skin. I've got a Clarins one, some MAC ones, my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. That's about it for that drawer really. Moving lower down, this drawer has got mascaras in, eyeliners, brow products, lash glue. I just like to keep my open mascaras at the side. I've got this really pretty Urban Decay glitter in here. I need to use that more. And another one, this one is amazing. There's not much to say about this drawer really, it's quite boring. <laughs> On to single eyeshadows. I've got a bunch of MAC eyeshadows right at the back here. I've got some pigments, Bobbi Brown eyeshadows, this super pretty MAC palette that I made. This is one of my lipstick drawers. This has just got a whole bunch of lip products in that I don't use all that much, but I still like to keep because I do use them sometimes. 
I got rid of a hefty few of these recently too. I love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams and the Clinique Pop Lipsticks. They're stunning. I've also got a bunch of MAC lipsticks in here and some lip glasses. But in this drawer is where I like to keep lipsticks that I use a lot. So I've got a H&M one that's gorgeous. Some MAC lipsticks in there. I've got this really pretty Clinique Pop Lipstick in the shade Poppy Pop. I've got some L'Oreal lipsticks, just a whole bunch of ones that I absolutely love. They stay in this drawer away from the others so that I can keep them separate and I know which ones I like to wear a lot. This drawer is where I like to keep things that have been sent recently and this is my face one. So I've got the Gwen Stefani Blush Palette, a Benefit Professional product, some L'Oreal products and some Soap and Glory products. This one is like the last one. These are products that I get sent very kindly by brands and I just like to keep them separate from my normal makeup. So these are the lip products that I get sent. There's a whole bunch of Urban Decay lipsticks, some new L'Oreal ones, a Soap and Glory one and a Rosie Huntington Whiteley one and I can't wait to give them a go and try them out. This drawer has some eye products in that I've been sent. So there's a Gwen Stefani brow kit, a Barry M mascara, some L'Oreal brow artist sculpt products, and then some collection palettes. This drawer is my palette drawer, which I absolutely love. I'll do a close up of a few of my favorite palettes. So I've got my NARS blusher one, which I think is amazing. They don't sell it anymore though. I've got my Naked One palette and my Naked Two palette, an Inglot palette that I made some MAC palettes which are gorgeous, this Makeup Forever one at the back and then I've got an Urban Decay one and a few sleek palettes down here. On to the bottom drawers, in this one I just keep spare Real Techniques blenders. I've got a Tangle Teaser and this is just kind of a miscellaneous drawer just full of lots of stuff that I might need in the future but I don't really need now. The next one has my contact lenses in. I like to keep eyelashes in this drawer. I love Fleur's lashes. The bluey greeny coloured ones, they're really good. And in the last drawer I've got nail polish. I'll show you a few of my favourite colours now. But a lot of them are from Barry M to be honest. I just absolutely love Barry M nail polishes. And I love Nail Zinc nail polishes and Essie. I've got quite a lot in here even though I gave away a lot recently. But I really do like nail polish so that is why I've got this many. And that is the end of my makeup collection. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, please let me know what videos you'd like to see next and I'll make sure to do some of your suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.